Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine. I make all types of lifestyle content on this channel from vlogs to hauls to skincare routine videos and other routine videos. So if you like that type of content, then I definitely suggest you go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell, that way you know every time I upload a new video on this channel. So today's video is a little different. I feel like I've done one of these, oh my God, a long time ago, like I'm pretty sure, like when I first started my channel, I did like a grocery haul, but it's like, on private now you guys cannot see it because it was trash but anyways so i decided that i would go ahead and film one today um so i primarily grocery shop at like all of these and trader joe's those are like my two favorite places to grocery shop um and then every once in a while when i can't get the like specific things from those places then i will go to like Publix. um but for the most part Aldi's and Trader Joe's where I grocery shop. So today I'm gonna do an Aldi's grocery haul for you guys, just to show you the things that I like to purchase. Um, so this past, I didn't go grocery shopping this week. So for the last week, I was like basically eating out. And you know, that's just, this is not the way to go. So I'm looking forward to cooking meals, cooking meals with lots of fresh vegetables and things like that and kind of get ourselves back on track. So I've been doing a lot of tracking my, my food over the last three weeks in my fitness pal. Over the last like three or four weeks, I've lost like six pounds. Um, and that's just from simply tracking what I was eating and like being mindful of that kind of stuff. Not doing anything like excessive, not following any type of diet plan, keto or anything like that. Just simply being conscious of what I'm eating and how much I'm eating because portion control is definitely my biggest like factor against myself. So I'm sure plenty of y'all can relate. Yeah, with that being said, there's some new things in here that I've never tried from um, Aldi. So that's kind of the thing that I like about grocery shopping at Aldi's and Trader Joe's is that they have those kind of like cool, different, food items that you may not see at other places. They're kind of unique. So yeah, I'm gonna share what I picked up with you guys. In no particular order, I'm literally just gonna grab what I got out of these three bags and go from there. So the first thing are these Caramel Quaker um, Rice Crisp things. I don't know, I just thought this would be like a good sweet treat. I'm someone, I have a huge sweet tooth. I have to have like sweet, but I'm just trying to like scale back on like the types of sweets and like all of that. So I did have cake this week. So, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna scale it back. So yeah, I got these. Um, I had the cheddar ones like the last time I went to the grocery store and they were really, really good. So thought I'd try those out. I'm a huge chai latte drinker. Like I don't really drink coffee anymore. So I switched from coffee to teas and chai lattes are like my coffee now basically. Um, so pretty much, I won't say every day, but like every other day or whatever, throughout the week I normally have a iced chai latte and I normally just get the Tazo chai latte mix. But I saw this at Aldi today. I've never seen this before. Um, it's Simply Nature chai latte uh concentrate i'm assuming this is a concentrate so i'll try this and see how i like it and let you guys know what i think so i picked up two of these um simply nature brown rice crackers so one is roasted red pepper the other is tomato basil i'm a huge snacker that's like the other part of my problem is that i snack a lot but i figure if i'm gonna snack like i try to grab like healthier ish snack items like crackers like brown rice crackers more whole grains just a little bit better for you so i got those i picked up this um tzatziki um sauce it's spinach and parmesan so i'm gonna make like wraps this week and i think i'm gonna use this i figured this would also probably be good with those crackers because it is kind of like a dip as well so i got some shredded mozzarella cheese because like just to have for salads or I'm making like these little pizzas, so this for that as well. And I just got some sharp cheddar just to have. Also got some goat cheese to go on pizza, salads, like whatever. I also picked up this cauliflower dip with roasted um, peppers, a oh, roasted chili and pepper jack cheese. This is really, really good. Like if you really like dips and things, this is a really good healthier alternative because it is made from cauliflower. So it's really, really good. Next, I picked up some bacon. And I picked up these um, Italian herb flatbreads just to have, again, making wraps and things of that nature. These are the little pizza crusts that I buy. These are the thin ones. They do have like another 
style, which I guess isn't thin crust, but these are the ones that I like. They're, they're really, really good. Like whenever I'm craving pizza, I just feel like instead of ordering a whole pizza from Domino's, I could just make one of these. They're really clutch and so, so good. So highly recommend those. So again, sweet tooth. I picked up these dark sea salt and the dark sea salt salted caramel chocolate little bars. These are really good. I try to let myself have like at least one of these every day, like at nighttime, um, because I don't know if you guys are like me, but <laughs> sometimes you just need a little something sweet after dinner. And so these are a really good alternative versus like ice cream or anything else that I would have normally ate. So I've been really liking these a lot. And then of course I just picked up a 12 or a dozen of eggs. That's it for the first bag. I'm gonna put this away and then I'll grab the next bag. The next bag that I have, I just picked up some vanilla almond milk. Almond milk is my milk of choice. I've been drinking it for years. Love it. I like oat milk sometimes too, but I always just come back to almond milk. So I picked up two cans of garbanzo beans, as Ari Lennox would say. Let me check on them. Uh, garbanzo beans. I got two of those so that I could use them for salads, whatever. I also saw a recipe of where you can put them in the air fryer and like crisp them up and have like little garbanzo bean snacks. So I'm gonna try that just to see how it tastes. I feel like it might be pretty good. Um, but the other can I'm gonna use for like salads and wraps and stuff like that. I picked up this Rosso pesto sauce. This is really, really good. It's like pesto sauce, but it's made with sun-dried tomatoes. It's so, so, so good. I like to use those on those little pizzas um, as like the sauce or I'll use it like in pasta. So I really like having that. And then I've been craving cinnamon rolls for a while now. So I got some cinnamon rolls. I don't know when I'm going to make them, but it's all about balance, you guys. Like, we're, we're trying to live a balanced life here. So speaking of balance, I had to pick up some wine. So I bought this rosé. This was new. I hadn't seen this before. Chestoria California Rosé 2019. I bought this because I'm going to make rosé. Like just to be completely transparent. That's why I got this, so Froze will be happening. And then um, I picked up this because it sounded good. Like I've never had this before, but it's Pacific Fruit Vineyard Sweet Watermelon. So it's like a watermelon wine. I don't know, it just sounded good, so I got that. And then I also picked up some Watermelon LaCroix. So it's actually in the car, so you guys won't see it in this video, but I did pick that up and I thought maybe like Mixing that sparkling water with this wine might make like a, fuzz, a, a fuzzy, might make it like a fizzy, like sparkling type of drink. So I don't know. I want to try it and just see if it's good. So that's everything in my second bag. That was my smallest bag. So I'm going to put this away and then we'll get to the biggest bag, which has like all the vegetables and stuff like that. Picked up some of these cotton candy grapes, you guys. These are so, so good. If you've never had these before, you definitely need to try them. So good. It's so weird. Like, why do they taste like cotton candy? I don't know, but they're so good. Especially really good, like when you put them in the freezer and eat them frozen. Chef's kiss. So good. Also picked up some cherries just to have. I really like rainier. I think these are rainier cherries. Yeah. I really like rainier cherries. And usually the darker they are, like the more sweet and like delicious they are. So picked up some of those. I got three avocados. Gotta have avocados. Like love avocados picked up some green onion i just like the taste of green onion and like everything i put it in grits i put it on eggs i put it in salads i put green onion on literally everything i picked up some more bananas i have some in the freezer already but yeah i usually just buy um, bananas for smoothies so i usually cut them up and put them in the freezer just to have uh for my smoothies i picked up two zucchini um i figure i'm gonna use these like put them in the air fryer and then like also make like a supreme style or veggie style pizza with one of those little pizzas with it. So picked up some zucchini, some cherry tomatoes on the vine, love those. This is one of the like English cucumbers. So picked up one of those. And I also, I really hate that they only have this like huge freaking thing of spring mix, but I got this humongous thing of spring mix, but I'm gonna be making a lot of wraps and salads this week. So I figured might as well go bigger or go home. 
And then I also picked up some baked spinach. I like to have spinach. I put it in my eggs. I put it in my smoothies just for added nutrients. So I always like to have spinach on deck. Hey guys, it's Future Jasmine. Just wanted to step in real quick and note that I realized after editing this that I didn't show like any meats or anything. And that's because of this go around, I just didn't purchase any from Aldi because I already had stuff at home. And then I did end up going to Publix and purchasing um, some chicken breasts and stuff like that. So uh, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that was everything that I got from Aldi's this trip. Um, again, I really like shopping at Aldi. Like, I think people have like a preconceived notion about like what Aldi's is or whatever, but I like shopping there. It's really affordable compared to like other grocery stores. So yeah, that's everything that I got. If you guys like these types of grocery hauls, let me know. I'll probably go to Trader Joe's next. I usually like uh, rotate which grocery store I go to so I'll probably go to Trader Joe's next so if you guys want to see a Trader Joe's haul be sure to give this video a thumbs up and that will let me know that you guys want to see that so yeah thank you guys so 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 much for watching I love you and I will see you in the next video